So I've seen this trailer. Well, I've seen the thumbnail to this movie like, like about a month ago. First thumbnail, first thumbnail looked like a porn video, like, like some kind of porn movie. Uh, I just Alba, they had him as this big genie dude. It was just ridiculous. And I actually did post it a comment in one of these trailers about that. And I'm thinking to myself, what's with the media over the last 25 years constantly promoting this this uh, big black image? Because prior to that, that wasn't even a thing. My name. Prior to that, that wasn't even a thing. Is Alice. All right, and all these thumbnails that I've seen, now I don't know what this movie's about. It's about some genie. I don't know the whole entire scope of the movie, but apparently, they're constantly doing like propaganda on the low because if you look at the thumbnails, it looks like some kind of you know black male, white female porn. All right. Now I don't know whether they're getting this image of this big black male thing because there's like in previous to to the '90s to to the mid '90s, like previous to that, Red Fox even made a joke about pygmies in Africa. There's like 11 million black pygmies in like Central Africa, or something like that, Sub-Saharan Africa. That that was, you know, they didn't constantly put up these one percent of the tallest, uh, best-looking uh, black and white people that they've done for like the last 25 years for black and white people, all right? The NBA represents what? What? 0.000000000001% of the black male population. Like, like that's virtually a Zippo. The average African height is five foot six. The average Jamaican height is five foot seven. The average Haitian height is five foot six. The average height of an uh, of a black american male is five foot nine and obese so i don't know where this whole entire you know big black image came from except for the fact that it's just been propagandized by hip-hop by the media itself by by the nba apparently they're getting the the shack who represents like 0.000000000000001% of the of the black population to represent uh, black males. Well, now, I was like, my issue with this is you're actually branding black males the most positive that you can brand them. So if you're taking like 0.000000000001% of their population to brand them, why aren't you doing it for Asian dudes? You know what the height of the average uh a Chinese person in in China's about the same height as the same about the same height as the probably maybe a little bit taller than the average uh, African uh, uh, person male in, in in Africa. You know that there's 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 not a big difference. But why is there no the big uh, there's no uh, you know big Asian male image in the media? I mean prior to 1995, you know you'd see like these character like Robert Guillaume wasn't a big guy you know these actors were just you know from from the population they weren't these these huge six foot three six foot four monotypes that that represents virtually Zippo of the black or white population this is what I have with my story with movies true. like this with trailers like this I am a solitary creature all right uh, on, on top of that on, on top of this racial branding that Hollywood does and has done for for whites and blacks that have benefited whites and blacks for the for a good 25 years with and 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 they've done the absolute opposite when it comes to Asian American males they've done the ap opposite for Latino American males they've done the a a absolute opposite for Indian American males they've done the opposite of everybody who's not who's not white or black which is uh which is should be considered uh, racially not just racially insensitive but you're actually doing a, a kind of like a, a racial branding 
racial warfare, social, cultural, racial warfare in the terms of how you brand uh, certain races for decades, for decades, all right? It's just insanely, insanely ridiculous. And and on top of that, have, haven't seen the movie, haven't even watched this full trailer. By nature. You get this impression that this I'm is not. some kind of black male, white female uh, propaganda which didn't exist uh, two and a half decades ago. This did not exist. This constant. There's been studies. There's been studies that's been put out, the you know, for 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 this kind of stuff where they 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 it's 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 factually proven that this propaganda actually increases the amount of interracial relationships uh, between uh, blacks and whites. But if you're gonna put out that kind of propaganda why aren't you putting that kind of propaganda out for uh latino americans why aren't you putting that kind of propaganda out for asian americans why aren't you putting out that kind of propaganda for arab americans why aren't you putting that kind of propaganda out for every other americans i mean you think nobody else wants brainwashed free white uh, pussy, you don't. You, you guys don't think that anybody wants that. What is the, the? What is this constant, 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 constant propaganda that Hollywood has put out over the last twenty-five years that have benefited uh, black people, have, that have benefited white people, but 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 go out of their way to just bash the hell out of Asians, out of Latinos, out of. Asian Americans, Latino Americans, Indian Americans, Arab Americans. What is this thing that they constantly do? All right, Th this is no, this no, is no, not. No parents. This is husband. not just entertainment. It's fate. And by the way, the whole genie thing is an Arab thing. It's not an African thing. All right, so I, I'm not quite sure why they had Idris Elba cast it in this role. Why didn't they get like some some Arab guy? for this role? Why didn't they get some Muslim guy for this role? Why didn't even they even get like the, some, some Asian guy for this role considering the Aladdin, I believe the whole entire story, the originality of that story was that, that the guy was originally uh, East Asian. I'm pretty sure that was what that story was. It was that story was that the guy was originally East Asian. All right, I, I, you know, I, I don't know why they constantly, constantly, why black people have so much of a majority compared to their to their population size. They haven't been the the largest minor, my, minority in this country since two decades ago. You know, the the Latino Americans eclipsed them since two thousand. Since two thousand. Uh, Latino Americans were the biggest minority in this country, yet they get virtually no representation at all. All right, representation is not just getting work in the in, in the movie industry. It, it's actually promoting, racially promoting a certain brand. All right, so. So if, if certain groups, blacks and whites, are getting this kind of positive promotion for a good 25 years and then other groups haven't, you guys know what 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 you know the result of this is is that you're actually just foreignizing or everybody else, you're just bashing everybody else's brand, but you're promoting the white black brand, which is just absolute garbage. I've always said that the media I chose should have been, should have I been, like it. It is, I've sure always it is. said that the media should have been, should have had a quota system for everybody so that it, it, it portrays everybody uh, fairly. But these kind of movies, I'm saying these kind of movies where they only portray, and they not only just only portray, but they give like the best portrayal of blacks and whites, but in particular with this kind of movie, this is like the second uh, big movie that I've seen where they've actually constantly gone after this propaganda brainwashing of, of trying to brainwash white women uh, for, for, for black dudes. And they've been doing this for a good 25 years. Nobody, you know, I, I wouldn't care about this if they actually gave the same amount of 
fair representation to Asians, to Asian American, to Asian American males. If they gave this kind of representation in the, in the same ratio to Latino American males, if they gave the same kind of 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 of, of positive feel good propaganda to Arab American males, Indian American males, Native American males, but they haven't done that. All right, and and you guys are watching that. You guys should, if you guys are not black or white, you guys are in any of the minority groups. You guys should be absolutely, absolutely pissed off at this because it, it's it, it's a detriment. It's a detriment to it's detrimental to uh, to 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 your race if you're not getting the same amount of positive uh, characterization. If you're not getting the same amount of positive representation. All right, because on on a, on a cultural, on a social level, um, it, it affects how people see other people. It affects how other people see you. So it, this should matter to you that that you know the blacks and the whites in the media and the Jews are constantly giving themselves the best representation that they can get, and are constantly. Putting up these these storyline scenarios that actually benefit their race, but don't benefit your race, all right? Because uh, it, it 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 these are not just movies, these are not just TV shows, all right? They have social impacts, impact. They have a huge, huge, huge social impact on 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 our relationships. They have a huge social impact on. On, on 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 how people see themselves, how people see everybody else. It's not just entertainment, guys. You need to look at this as as, as propaganda, as a proxy race war. You need to look at it in those uh, in, in in that way because because if you guys constantly let them do that, if you constantly let them put out positive portrayals of themselves of blacks and whites and then and then not positive portrayal of your group uh, there's going to be a lot of people who should be who should be absolutely uh, uh, pissed off at this because certain groups are getting benefits social benefits cultural benefits that other groups are not 